Dear students, welcome back to the 10th week class of Advanced Computer Organization and Architecture. Here I am Aisha Siddika, Assistant Professor, Department of CSC. Today we will learn about memory management. From the previous class, we already know about memory hierarchy, but today we will discuss about memory management. Let's see know about that. If you follow the figure, you can see that the uh, CPU uh, of uh, resist uh, resistors of CPU will directly connect it, and this is a bi direction connection with a program image in memory through uh, CAS. That means C uh, CPU uh, can uh, read and uh, write data from uh, the, uh, the main memory through the register of uh, data bus. But there is another connection from main memory. Uh, here you can see the um, program image in memory can um, uh, send instructions to the CPU through the instructions uh, bus of, um, uh, of CASES. And there is a DIX that is directly connected with program image in memory. Uh, and uh, the whole is the process uh, of memory management. Program addresses and memory. When code is generated, we use memory address for variables, functions, and branching or jumping, uh, or in, uh, for any assembly program uh, is written. Those addresses can be physical or logical memory addresses, but in the very early system, they are just physical memory addresses. That means uh, there is a, a program has to be loaded uh, to that addresses to run and uh, um, no relocation of that coded. If we consider the figure of uh, program addresses and memory, uh, here uh, I assume they are physical addresses of program, that means uh, here is a program uh, from at move and uh, jump 8 and the physical address of that program is 0, 4, 8, 12. And another side have a RAM, and there is the physical addresses of RAM. So uh, yeah, when we coded this program uh, in uh, RAM, uh, yeah, that will be uh, 0, 4, uh, 8, and, uh, and 12 uh, of addresses of the RAM. There is another example of program addresses and memory. Here is uh, here is two program, um, program one and program two. Program one is uh, placed uh, uh, from 0 to uh, 12 and the program 2 also placed in 0 to 12. So what will be happen when uh, it will be coded at the RAM, RAM memory? So at first the program 1 will be uh, placed so that uh, it will be located at 0, 4, 8 and 12 addresses and the, uh, then the program uh, 2 will be placed uh, with 16, 12, 24 and 28 addresses of RAM. Logical address space concept. We need logical address space concept that is different that the physical RAM uh, addresses that means the main memory and a program use logical address addresses set of logical addresses used by the program is its logical address space that means the logical address space can be for example 0 and the max address that means 0 is the minimum address and um, uh, logical address uh, can be max now max is the final address and the logical address space has to be mapped somewhere in physical memory uh, here has uh, a, um, a little example now here uh, that show a program and uh, the logical address of that program. Here you can see the minimum address is 0 and the maximum address is logical, logic max. That means the logical address space uh, will be 0 to max. Base and limit register. A pair of base and limit registers define the address space of a process. A process should be accessing and using that range. That means, uh, and the protection and relocation can be provided in this way. Here, uh, uh, zero is the minimum address of the operating system, and there have some process, and uh, uh, is uh, one of the process is also uh, called the registration uh, relocation register. And uh, this is the base, uh, base register is a uh, known uh, relocation register 
and there is a limit uh, each physical address should be the range and that call limit and the range will be base uh, to a base plus limit logical versus physical address space the concept of a logical address space that is bound to a separate physical address space is uh, central to proper memory management logical addresses generated by the cpu also uh, refreshed to as virtual address and the physical addresses seen by the memory unit logical and physical addresses are the same in compile time and load time addresses binding schema logical and physical address differ in execution time address binding schema here is the example of dynamic relocation using a relocation register that means there have a relocation register that will be connected with cpu and memory uh, at first cpu uh, place a logical address to the relocation register and relocation register um, can uh, um, uh, relocate this address and uh, this is the physical address and this physical address is go through the memory binding of instructions and data to memory address binding of instructions and data to uh, memory uh, that means the physical addresses can happen at three different stages at first uh, compile time if memory location known uh, as um, uh, priori absolute code can be generated must uh, recompile code if starting location change and uh, another one is load time Mal, uh, must generate relocatable code if memory location is not known at compile time and the third one is execution time binding delayed until run time if the processes can be moved during its execution from one memory segment to another need hardware support for address maps that is uh, for example base and limit register now let's know about dynamic loading uh, this is our route, routing uh, is not loaded until it is called and the better memory space utilizations unused route, routing uh, is uh, never loaded useful when large amount of code are needed to handle infrequently occurring cases no special support from the operating system is required implemented through program design basic memory allocation has three strategies the first one is contiguous allo allocation second one is paging and the third one is segmentation firstly we learn about contiguous allocation there is two portions main memory is partitioned usually into two partitions um, first one is a resident operating system usually held in low memory with interrupt vector and the second one is user process then held in high memory another one is location registers used to protect user processes from each other and from changing operating system code and data the base register contain value of smallest physical address the limit register contain range of logical address if logical address must be less than the limit register and uh, mmu maps logical addresses dynamically where mmu is the memory management unit 
after continuous uh, allocation uh, let's say know about the paging um, so what is paging in physical address space of a process can be uh, non contiguous and the non contiguous process is called paging uh, so process is allocate physical memory when for the letter is variable where the physical address space will also know um, also be uh, non contiguous here divide physical memory into fixed size block that is called uh, frame um, that uh, that will be maintained the size uh, is a power of 2 uh, between uh, 512 bytes and the 8192 bytes and divide uh, logical memory into blocks of uh, small size called pages keep track of all preference to turn a program of size n pages need to find n free frames and load program set up a page table to translate logical to physical addresses and finally the internal fragmentation paging fragmentation is two types the first one is uh, external fragmentation and the second one is internal fragmentations so uh, in uh, external fragmentations total memory space exists to satisfy a request but it is not contiguous but in internal uh, fragmentation allocated memory may be slightly larger than the requested memory D this size uh, dif difference in memory internal to a partitions uh, but not being used reuse external fragmentations by uh, compactions uh, is uh, strictly uh, memory contents to a space all free memory together in one large block compactions is possible only if relocation is dynamic and is done uh, at execution time and the input output problem here has two portions first one is slash job in memory uh, while it is involved in input output and the another one is to input output only into OS buffer OS means operating system shared uh, pages can be two uh, portions uh, first one is shared code and the second one is private code and data in shared code one copy of read only code shared among processes like uh, text editors compilers window systems and the shared code must appear in same locations in the logical address space of all processes but uh, on the other hand private code and data each processes keeps a separate copy of the code and data the pages for the private code and data can appear anywhere in the logical address space thank you that's all for today stay tuned for the next class